हे गाइस सो वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद आवर पार्ट टू ऑफ टीक इंटर पेंट एप्लीकेशन वीडियो सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर टीक इंटर पेंट एप्लीकेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एड सम मोर फीचर्स सम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग फीचर्स सो नाउ लेट्स ओपन अवर पाई चाम नो हियर वी हैव दिस कोड दैट वी जस्ट क्रिएटेड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड दिस कोड is for the paint application that we have created up to this point so we have this paint application now here there are a lot of bugs that i want to solve and you will get some bugs after this video and then what you can do is you can think about how you can solve those bugs that will make you even much more good programmer okay so now here the bug is i can draw something first if i'll change the width i still get the same width of the line so what we can do to change this so to change this what we can do is we can hit on this change width and then we will be able to change the actual width of the our pen or of our brush so now what we have to do is we have to control the width as per this slider moves so for that this is our first bug so let us tackle that so now here i will what i will do is so what we can do in here is simple what we have to do is by the way if you haven't watched the video where we have created this paint application you can watch that video in the i button now and you can also get the link of my python programming playlist in the description below so now in this what we can do is here we have the button to change the width so let me remove the button okay and here what we will do actually is we will handle this scale the change event okay so the change uh, width event okay so we have the change color and the change width so here when whenever we'll change the color or whenever we'll press that button we are using this change width so what we will do we will simply check this we will simply cut this or what we can do is we can simply take this okay so we can cut it from here and we can paste that in this get event so whenever our mouse will move whenever the motion event will be triggered our width will be automatically set to scale value and this scale value should be an integer as well so let us convert this to an integer what do we have is there is some error so let's check out what error do we have so here let us remove that int because i think this already is a int var i guess let us check that okay so we have this as int var and that's why there is no need to convert it to int var again let us remove this change width from here now if i'll save my code okay and if i'll now rerun the code again you will see we have so we have the solution of that bug now okay so let us rerun the code yes i want to rerun now here i have size 1 now let us change the size to 40 and we immediately get that size without clicking any other button let's say we have 10 size we get that let's change the color we get that color sorry for the disturbance so we directly get the uh, valid change in width and we get the difference we can see the difference clearly so here we have the uh, lines we can change the width we can change the uh, color without pressing any other button here so now we are not limited to these colors the second bug that i want to introduce to you and we also have the eraser which we can set to 100 and we can clear this up okay so let us clear it quickly okay i think okay so the other thing that i want to do here is we are, we should not be limited to these colors only we should not be uh, you can say we should not be just able to draw in these colors only we have to use our custom colors we should get the option to choose our custom colors so what we can do for that so for that what we can do is we can add something that will add some uh, custom colors to this uh, application so let me close the app now let us add the option of custom colors so how we can do that so for that here on the top i will import so from tkinter dot color chooser 
import ask color so this import tkinter dot color chooser what is tkinter dot color chooser so in this tkinter we have color chooser module in that module we have ask color a widget which will ask for the custom color so we have this now now in here we can add a button here as well so let us try to add a button before these colors so before the palette here i'll add a button let us try this or else i have another solution which will be much better so here i'll add in the height okay let's say i have the height of 2 and let's say i have the width of uh, 4 i'll use dot pack to pack it and we also have to use the command equals to what command do we want so the command that i want will be custom color or ask custom color this will be the command here let us create that function ask custom command okay or ask custom color we have ask custom color this function will ask for the color and here we will save that in let's say custom color we'll save that in this custom color now whenever i'll print this custom color you will see we get something different something that we don't want still we want the output but something that is not required for us so what we'll do is we'll take only the things that are required for us so let us run the code here we have this button currently this button is here and i want this button to be on the left side so let us take this button on the left side of the window so how we will do that so to do that what we can do is we can add the side equals to left property which will take it to the left obviously and i'll add width equals to 4 that's great and height equals to 2 that's great as well so now let us uh, add some text as well we would like to add some text so text is equals to let's add uh, custom color so customs customs okay perfect now let us run the code and here you will see the text is not uh, perfectly aligned with that button now if i'll save my code and if i'll run my code you will see we get this button which looks great and now if i'll hit this you will see we get this customs option now let's select the custom color like this we can select any color like this now let's say this shade this shade is not available in my palette i'll use ok to select that color so whenever i'll hit ok here you will see we have we have printed that result and the result contains two items the first item itself is the tuple which has these three values r g and b and this is our hash code or hex code of the color so we will use this hex code so let us close the application for now okay and we will use this hex code okay so here what we will do is in this function we will use this hex code and how we will access the second element so to access the second element we will use the tuple accessing and here we will set this element to our props color Okay, so oops i made a mistake color and we'll set this custom color one equals to props dot color so this will make our pen color to change and how we will get an idea which color we are using so for that i will also change the color of this button to this color so what we will do is here i'll set so what we can do to change this is simple here we can say the custom color button is equals to or custom color buttons bg bg will be changed to props dot color okay or not dot i'll use this props color i'll save it and now here i'll remove that bg okay so what is this custom color button so i'll store this button in a variable named custom color so I'll change the name of this variable to custom color button. That was the solution that I was thinking of. I think this 
will be the perfect solution so custom color button dot pack now if i'll save this code and if i'll run this you will see we have white color okay by default now i'll select this color i can draw with it but as soon as i'll click this customs and as soon as i'll select this color hit ok you will see our background is now changed here as you can see we get this type of color now let us change this to green and here you can see we get the green color so just like that you can change the custom color so just like that you can get an idea how you can change the custom color and how you can do this stuff now one more thing i would like to add is one more button like this or a shape like this which will show which color you are using currently for that what i can do is simple we can simply copy this button from here let's copy this button and let us paste it here and let us use dot pack and let us use the side equals to right as well and we should remove the text from the button okay so the text should be removed and the command should be removed as well the command will be removed here and one more thing that i'll add is relief okay so this relief is the you can say the property which will be sunken in this case which will give an effect of uh, you can say a button which is uh, inside of that you can say a sunken button okay so so the property itself is sunken so i cannot tell you the uh, sunken what is sunken so you can search for that on the internet how the properties look so what this button will be about so this button will simply show the background color or what color we are using so here i'll say pen color is equals to this button and i'll also say pen color dot pack and what our pen color will be so the pen color will be our here i'll say pen color is equals to what our pen color is so our pen color is the color okay so not this so our pen color is props color so this is our uh, by default selected pen color so now i'll duplicate it replicate it you can say and i'll add it in here save it and now if i'll stop and rerun my code again you will see we get an error here and what that error is we get height is 3 that is invalid syntax so what syntax error are we facing here so we have all tools okay what is it it is a button so we forgot to add the button text here now let us run the code again and here you will see we get this sunken effect of the button by default the color should be black so let us add the bg equals to props color okay so this will be our bg that we will add and we will save it and we will run our code now now here you will see the selected color that we have and what if i want this color to be on this side so to do that what we can do here is instead of using right we can use the side equals to left you can save it and now if i'll oops if i'll run the code we cancel i want to stop this debugging if i'll run the code you will see we get okay what is the error okay so here you will see we get this button here which is showing the custom or not the custom which is showing the current color that you have selected but it should have a padding right so let us add the padding in x so to do that what we can do first of all i think this button should be near the colors and that's why i'll move it down and here on this button i'll add a padding in x equals to let's say four or five something like that now let us save this and run it here you will see we get some uh, spacing in between these colors and here we can see the actual color that is selected and one more thing that we can do is we can click it currently so how to disable the click so for that yes. let's add state is equals to disabled save it and now let us run the code and here now we cannot click this button here you will see we cannot click this button but still our color will be 
changed okay so if i'll select this color okay and if i'll draw if i'll move my mouse around okay let's select this color let us check that out okay so the color of this button is not changing okay what the error is redeclared pen okay so here we have this pen color let us comment it out save it and now let us stop and rerun our code again there are a lot of bugs in this code that i am making i'm creating those bugs okay so and i'm also finding the uh, solutions of those bugs so that's not something that we have to do we just have to find the solutions we don't have to create those bugs so the problem that we have here is this pen color should be okay so pen color what pen color so pen color bg should be okay so these are the mistakes that we make a lot now if i'll run this code if i'll select this color we still don't see the change in the color so for that what i will do is i will simply cut it from here and i'll simply take this to change color function and as soon as we change the uh, props dot color okay so as soon as we change the color we will also change the background background color of this pen so oops so here instead of this i'll add the color here directly and i'll save it and now i think the pen color should change so here we have pen color and the bg is props dot color so let us remove the bg from here or the by default bg is black let us keep it okay so let us keep it here now let's run the code we have this color and here you see the change let's select this color let's select this color and we cannot click this button here as well so here you can see we get these type of outputs okay so now one more thing that we will add in this paint to make it much more amazing is the menu bar and the save functionality obviously okay so there is some error that i am facing in the save functionality so if you do find the solution please tell me that solution in the comments okay so that's how we will make an community that's right okay now here to create the menu let's add menu bar comment oops not bar menu bar and here i'll create that menu bar is equals to a menu it will be a menu right then we have our file menu which will be also a menu inside of this menu bar that's right and let's select the tier of equals to false oops false now what we will do here is this menu should be m should be capital and now we also have one more error so this is bar not bar okay so here i'll add file menu dot add command oops add command label equals to let's say i want the label to uh, exit and the command equals to exit here we can use the command equals to exit okay so this is our command now let's go down file menu dot add command and we'll add the command to save okay so the label will be equal to save you can also add the command of new so you can do that on your own currently i won't add those features command equals to save and i'll create a save uh, function here then uh, i'll also add a separator in between of these so file menu dot add separator to make it look cleaner and here i'll add that save functionality so the first function will be def save currently i'll use pass to get read of uh, empty executions okay let's go down here right so we have the file menu now what we can do is we can say menu bar dot add cascade and here we can say label so the label of the menu will be file and the uh, you can say the what else do you want to add in here so we also want to add the uh, menu which menu bar is it so menu is equals to file menu and one more thing is root dot config we want to set this menu is equals to menu bar 
if i'll save this code now and if i'll run my code you will see we get this menu bar here with two options save and exit i'll let, let us also add the option of new okay or let us keep it simple we have this file we can add the menu of color and you can change the canvas color you can do everything like that so let us add that right so we will add that instead of adding this about menu i'll say uh, options okay so uh, here i'll say i'll remove this first and this about menu will be instead of this about menu i'll say options option menu okay here i'll say option menu here i'll say option menu as well now this option menu dot add color uh, dark theme dark theme then we will say the instead of dark dark theme we, we can say canvas okay so uh, dull canvas then we can add sim similar options like this so let us get rid of this so here i'll get rid of this and we will create three functions so one will be dull canvas second will be dark canvas third will be let's say uh, choose or custom theme and here i'll also add one more thing okay so one more thing is default default and i think everything that we have here should be small and when you click on this change theme or custom theme we should get an option okay so we should get an option of or we can create this as the third menu where we can give the options of different color schemes so you can do that i think uh, this option will be these options will be enough you can add those options if you want so menu bar dot add cascade here i'll say options and menu is equals to which menu do we have we have option menu let's add that save it now what error do we have okay so one more thing that i forgot is option menu is equals to a menu which will be in this menu bar and which will be having this tier of equals to false as well save it now let's run the code we see these buttons default canvas dull canvas dark canvas let's create those functions as well in here i'll create def dull canvas and similarly i'll create dark canvas okay so dull canvas dark canvas and what else default canvas so default canvas so these are the functions that we have created okay so what these functions will do so this dull canvas will set the uh, canvas vg okay equals to wheat which is a color which looks a bit dull or cream color you can say uh, many people will like that color many people will think that it's a dull color but similar uh, simply to give some name i have uh, remember i have it it striked in my mind dull uh, the dull word striked in my mind that's why i used that so let's say black okay canvas bg will be okay bg will be equal to uh, black let's say okay and just like that you can give the option of ask okay so you can ask uh, for the color so ask color and then you can set that color here if you want and default canvas will be our canvas and in this canvas i'll say bg that means the background color okay so background color will be what background color will be our background color will be white save it and now let's go here let's hit options and default can dull canvas nothing will happen and why because we haven't added those commands yet and one more thing that we should add is pen color so the color of the pen or let's simply say props color for these canvas this canvas the uh, dull canvas it should be let's say brown okay then for dark canvas okay so the this will be 
something like instead of brown we will go with a uh, light gray and for default canvas it will be black so oops it will be black so there is no problem at all so let's duplicate it and let's take this here and let's change this to black save it and now we get the output which is perfect okay and okay save it now let's run the code and still nothing will happen because we haven't added those commands so let's add those commands and let's come back here quickly so command equals to what command do we have dull not dull default canvas then here we have command oops equal to uh, the dull canvas and here we have command equal to dark canvas save it and now let's run the code we'll see we get this here if i'll say dull canvas this has changed if i'll say dark canvas this is changed as well so just like that you can change the uh, color and now if i'll use the eraser in here okay so let's use the eraser so here you will see our eraser is black as well so we had uh, i had changed the uh, back, uh, the eraser so what eraser is eraser erases the uh, lines with the uh, background color that we have of the canvas so just like that we can do this stuff now the next thing that we'll do is from tkinter dot file dialog import save okay so ask save as file name and in this save now what we will do is we will say file is equals to ask as save file name and in here we'll pass initial dir so the initial directory will be c in that c directory i'll create a folder named uh, tkinter okay so tkinter paint drawings okay or let's say uh, paint drawings and in this paint drawings i will save that image so this will be our default directory then the second argument that i'll pass is default oops default extensions so the default extensions will be a tuple and in that tuple we will have png file so png file and i'll pass in png here so what is the extension dot png and for jpg files this similarly for jpg files okay so file it will be dot jpeg okay that's right save it and one more thing that we will add in here okay what is the error let us check that out okay line too long okay no problem at all and one more thing that i will add in this uh, ask save as file name will be something like okay so instead of default extensions this should be file types file types and default ex extensions is another property that we have so default extensions is equals to the default extensions will be dot png this will be our default extension so or let us get rid of this we don't need this this is not uh, compulsory and in here we have to now we have to save that image so from image grab or from pil we want to import the, that image grab dot grab or let's say we want to import that image grab only in here we'll say image grab dot grab we'll grab that image and in here now we have a property named crop we can crop it or instead of that we can simply save it and i'll save in that file if i'll save it and if i'll run this code you will see now if i'll draw something like this okay we have something like this and something like this okay let's increase the size and this color we have something okay i have this drawing if i'll go here okay if i'll hit save you will see nothing is happening and why is that because here we have bad option so it should be initial dir so what do we have okay so i missed the i here i misspelled it so initial dir okay so that was the error let 
let us rerun it now let us draw something like this we have something like this this color and i'll add this let's take a custom color let's say uh, this one okay okay and we can draw something with this let's do this color draw something like that increase the size to 10 let's take this red color and draw something like that and now let's hit save so here you will see we get this uh, you can say uh, the file dialog box where I'll save this image as my image okay and here I'll hit save and now we get an error unknown file extension so what error do we have so unknown file extension what is the extension that we have provided okay so I have fixed the error and the error was simple here I forgot to add this default extensions is equals to png file dot png and this file types should be png files dot png and png image image that should be dot png as well so now with this we should be able to save the file now so now if i'll run the code if i'll in if i am in full screen mode and if here what i'll do is let's say i have this color i'll draw something with this or I can use the eraser as well in 93 okay size is 93 I can use that here so as you can see our paint application is working perfectly okay so I think now let us draw something with this green color and size will be let's say 7 okay so what I will do is uh, let's draw something like this I'm not drawing actually I'm simply doing some random stuff we can draw anything out here we can draw anything and let's say one here i'll write paint okay so paint app okay so application as you can see we can draw anything here okay so uh, jokes apart we can draw anything as you can see we can go to file and we can hit save so we get this type of dialog box let's go to pictures and let's save it as oops let's save it as my image one and if i'll hit enter we will save this image and now let us exit this so here we have this image and now we have saved this image but what error i'm facing is i cannot uh, understand why we are getting this uh, taskbar actually image.grab takes the screenshot you can say but here I want to get rid of these uh, this toolbar and this uh, taskbar but I cannot do that I tried a lot so uh, if you get the answer please type it in the chat box and let me know so that's how we created our funny paint application a fun project so we have this paint application where you can draw anything where you can change the colors where you can save anything and do a lot of stuff so uh, that was it for today guys and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video